Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Patrick McCarthy, who is the Executive Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. McCarthy, it is great to see you again. We've known each other for over 15 years. You've treated over 200 patients in the HeartValveSurgery.com community. It's a gift to see you once again. Thanks for being All with right. me. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, so we are seeing great information come out here this year at STS, a lot of great learnings. We're also getting patient questions coming to us from patients all over the world. This one came in from Patty and she asks, medication has maintained my blood pressure for several years. A sudden drop took place a month ago. My cardiologist paused my blood pressure medication. However, it has remained low for a month or so. My valve is now at a severe stage. Do blood pressure readings have a significant role in determining the progression of heart valve disease? And do these fluctuations increase stroke risk? So a good question. So you would think that your blood pressure is controlled by your heart valve, but usually not very much. Usually it's a different mechanism that is controlling your blood pressure. There are things like a leaky aortic valve where the blood's going backwards through the aortic valve and that may drop a lower number, the diastolic number on your blood pressure. Um, potentially if you uh, have like a severe aortic stenosis, it doesn't open very well, potentially your blood pressure would drop with that quite a bit, but usually not like for a month. And, both of those, if they're progressed to that phase, then it really is time to be thinking about having surgery. So if your doctor thinks that the blood pressure is related to the heart valve disease, then that's an indication. Can they uh, cause a stroke or contribute it? It certainly can. Uh, you don't want your blood pressure too high. That can cause a stroke where you can have a bleed into the brain or if it's too low, you may not get perfusion to your brain. So. Uh, anytime that you're running a funny blood pressure like that that's low, you really need to care carefully be assessed. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. McCarthy, okay. for helping us learn more about blood pressure, medications, heart valve disease, and stroke. On behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, thanks to you and your team at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago. Thank you, Adam. Always appreciate what you do for the patients. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.